So I'm out here on pasture with my pigs, and my pigs, I've noticed as you were using my uh, little uh, farmer observation eyes there, uh, have been choosing a lot of the forage and grass and dirt over the feeder. Let's talk real quick about pig nutrition and some of my observations being a pastured pig farmer. So I have my mobile pig feeder. They're raised on organic non-GMO feed. I always have new feed coming in so it's fresh. I have these flaps. And I have other videos how I set the whole shebang up. You can find that uh, other places in the channel. And then I move the pigs about once a week, a little less when they're smaller, a little bit more than that when they're bigger and they have more impact. Uh, the bigger they get, the more impact uh, they have on the ground, the more often we move them because otherwise they create these big craters. Uh, but anyways, this is about food. So with moving the pigs on pasture, you would think like pigs are raised in a conventional setting in a barn on slat wood floors. They're just fed grain and uh, that's all their diet really consists of. Now moving them out here, these are pigs that are coming from a farm They've, as piglets. They're just raised on grain. They've never been outside like this before, never on managed pasture, uh, and they had no exposure to it. I got them as piglets. And now having brought them out, watch this B-roll of when I moved the pigs and I had fresh ground, and there's a pig standing right next to the feeder, which I had just topped off with fresh feed, and he's choosing grass and dirt over the feed, which is just amazing. These nutrients that were grown by the sun, I didn't pay any money for them. It's easy enough to move the pigs. It's positively impacting my ground because they're churning it up a little bit. Um, they're biting and eating the grass, which is triggering the grass to grow. As the grass grows, it's being fed by their manure, which is dropped on the ground, which is feeding the microorganisms and adding nutrients back into the ground. I've been reconditioning my soil over time using the pigs. And by having them raised out on pasture, sure, I have to move them and I can't just lock them uh, in a barn or an outdoor area that just looks like the surface of the moon because the pigs have been on there forever They ate everything by moving them around. I'm keeping the smell down I don't smell anything right now, and I'm standing in the middle of a pig pen I'm feeding them and cutting down my feed costs and then the quality of forage that they're getting is Improving their diet improving their gut health uh, Chlorophyll is a natural detoxifier in your body and there's chlorophyll and all this grass that they're eating so we don't feed any antibiotics. With moving them, they're getting off their manure, which decreases their, their parasite load. So, you know, I worm the pigs and they grow nice. I get a good grow out, they're more active. I have a great meat quality. And uh, in general, they're just happier pigs. They're comfortable with me. They can hang out with moving them week to week and checking in on them and working with their fence. The pigs become easier to work with. Uh, so when it comes time to that one last awful day, you know, they trust you, they'll get on the trailer and then they go on to the dinner plate from there. Uh, I always have to take it there because it is a channel about farming, making your life out of raising your own food. Just want to make sure that we're all focused on the animal welfare and the health and well-being of the animals and that creates a better end product. The more energy you put into the animal in the beginning, the better it is at the end, the more likely, uh, the easier it is for you to sell to customers because they're looking for that top quality product. Here it is right here. There's the feeder, which I fixed so it doesn't spill feed out a lot. And this pig, until I started talking, was digging in around the feeder, chewing up on the dirt. If you cycle back to when they were babies, they had a little bit of a diarrhea problem uh, that I couldn't solve when they were in uh, their brooder, their pig brooder. And as soon as I let them outside and started feeding them dirt, uh, and they brought some dirt into the brooder, and those minerals and that mix, the diarrhea went right away. Whether it was coincidence or a factor of the dirt, the improved diversity and health of their diet uh, had a great effect on how the pigs live. So I just, I love being out with the pigs on pasture. They teach me something new every time I'm out here. Uh, if you have any questions on raising your pigs outdoors, leave them in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel to see more pig videos. If one's trying to poke me in the butt. And until next time, I'll see you out in the pig pen. Don't know how to end this yet. I think we should change the view.